This is the process flow diagram of the sweetening process using chemical solvent. Okay. At the beginning, we are going to have a sour natural gas. So this is our feed, sour natural gas. This feed will enter an absorber. We mentioned before that this is an absorption process, so it will enter an absor absorber. Uh, let me draw it uh, in a bit. We will convert it. And so it enter here. This is our absorber. We mentioned that we are going he he here to have chemical absorption. So it could be absorber, or sometimes it's called contactor. Okay, because here we will have a contact between your acid the gas or sour gas and the solvent. Again, our feed uh, natural gas will be fed from the bottom. So it will be like this because it will flow upward. This is a flow against the graph. And our solvent will be fed from the top. So our solvent here, which will be lean or a clean uh, solvent. So we will have all the solvent from here. And because it's liquid, it will flow downward because of the gravity effect. Here, we will have a contact, that's why it's called a contactor, between your sour gas and lean solvent. After the process happens, you will have your um, natural gas feed without, uh, without carbon dioxide or hydrogen sulfide, so it will be a sweet natural gas, and for the solvent, it will uh, absorb all uh, the uh, carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulfide, so it will be a rich solvent. Okay. There is. It's also important to know that this absorption process, the absorption here, is exothermal, exothermal process, which means after uh, the contact here, some heat will be generated. So after that, you will have also a Q a Q or a heat generated after this process or this reaction happened, which means it's always better to start this process at low temperature. So it's better to happen at low temperature because it's exothermal reaction or it, it generates heat. So it's better to start at low temperature. So here it's a low temperature clean solvent. Okay. And after the process, you have a rich solvent at a slightly higher temperature, but you need this rich solvent to be at higher temperature because you are going to do a, a regeneration, which means you are going to heat. So here we are going to have a heating by a heater or by heat exchange. So if you are having heat exchange, you will have here heat exchange. Okay. After that, you will have a hot, rich, solvent that will be fed into a regenerator okay after that it will enter a regenerator so here this this will be our regenerator this, as a regenerator you will have your acid gas separated acid gas separated such as hydrogen sulfide and carbon dioxide and again you will have your lean solvent because here you strip or you remove any acid gases into it so it will be a lean solvent but at higher temperature okay because the regenerator work at high temperature the regenerator is totally the opposite of the absorber if the absorber operates at low temperature the regenerator will operate at high temperature so we now have a high temperature lean solvent so you need to call it that's why you will it will enter here okay let's change the color into blue here it will enter here to heat or to increase the temperature of the rich solvent and it will be at low temperature so so here what we did is recycle recycling you are going to reuse the lean solvent that you have after regenerating it it will be at high temperature so it will exchange heat with the rich solvent and after that it will be fed at the top of the contactor so that's what happened 
as the um, BFD or the process to the gram of the absorption, to chemical absorption on the sweetening. If we look here, <coughs> what is different? Okay, here we have an inlet separator, we have an our sour case, it will be fed at the bottom of the contactor. Our contactor is also our absorber. Absorber, okay? And here we have a chemical absorption. After the treatment, uh, as we mentioned before, sour gas will move up and it will be treated so it will be our sweet gas. Here you will have your lean solvent at low temperature. Okay, remember it's always low temperature because we are doing absorption. After that, it will enter here and take all carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulfide and it will be removed from the bottom as our rich so this is stream here moving like this here and after that this is our rich solvent or our solvent with hydrogen sulfide and carbon dioxide our rich solvent will keep moving this is the dark green and intrastable stable or regenerator this is for regeneration or stripping of acid gases so acid gases will move up and it will be removed here and our lean this is a light green this is our lean solvent it will be removed or moved at the top at the bottom this is a bomb it will it will exchange heat so here the lean gas as uh, the lean solvent temperature is dropping and the rich solvent temperature is increasing okay and this will be regenerated okay also here we add a color to lower the temperature even more and what else we have here we have a regeneration this is a reboiler to increase the temperature because again the regeneration or, or uh, um, stripping happen at higher temperature okay now i'll i'll show you a video of this process okay so this is our video if we look here okay so you will have this is your sour gas entering okay so if you follow the sour gas it will enter the contactor and move upward as a sweet gas because here you have a contact with the lean or the light green uh, solvent enter the contactor and take the acid gases and to move out okay so it's here your acid gas enter this flash tank after that it enter a heat exchanger to increase its temperature and after that it will enter a stripper okay the acid gas here will be stripped and you will have a lean solvent this lean solvent this one in light green will be pumped and enter a heat exchanger to lower its temperature and again pump it and enter a cooler after that temperature will be low to enter a contactor here we have a reboiler to increase the temperature because the stripping or regeneration happens at higher temperature and we have here a condenser because your acid gases uh, exit at low temperature in in our case for aspen Heises, it would be about 45 degrees Celsius. this is the exit temperature but for your lean gas this here this stream here it will be about 125 temperature that's why we are doing a cooling okay here it's also important to know that our lean solvent this the, the solvent entering here will be amine so our solvent lean amine or rich amine uh, here we have an absorber it in our simulation case it may be uh, about 20 degree uh, uh, 20 stage or 20 trays and the whole also for the stripper or the regenerator it will be also about um, 20 trays okay uh, for the flashing here for rich amine we are doing a flashing this is a, um, this step is to flash or to remove the acid gases that you have so here you call it a flash gas this is an acid gases that is removed early from uh, your rich uh, solvent uh, the flashing happen by lowering the pressure so you can have 7000 kilopascal and you go down to 600 so uh, you suddenly lower uh, the pressure 
Also, you have here a heat exchanger, so you will need uh, the temperatures uh, of uh, the solvent moving inside the tube and the other one moving at the shell. Okay, so this is an overview of the process flow diagram of the sweetening process, and it's important to understand it because you are going to have this one. This is for um, uh, the one from um, Aspen exam. Uh, this one and this is a process flow diagram that you need to understand so what is what does sour gas mean and what is the contactor what is DEA okay DEA is the amine that you are going to use here DEA is uh, is an abbreviation for diethanol amine this is a type of amine okay so which means you, here you are having a chemical in case of amine you are having a chemical uh, process here you have a regeneration, so it's divided into here absorption, and here the regeneration. This is for low temperature, this is for high temperature. Here you have a flash or pressure drop, but here it's a high pressure drop to flash any vapors like acid gases from uh, uh, the rich um, solvent before entering the re regeneration process. And also here, our lean uh, solvent will be recycled so here you will find a recycling because we reuse our solvent again 